Dr. Ellen here with this scratch tutorial for the paint editor. Today we will be looking at the toolbar. The scratch paint editor is a raster graphics editor. That is, it's a computer program that allows users to paint and edit pictures interactively on the computer screen and save them in raster or bitmap formats such as JPEG, PNG, GIF, and TIFF formats. With the paint editor, you can work with points, lines, and planes, the building blocks of graphics. With points, lines, and planes, you can create images and icons, textures, patterns, diagrams, animations, even typographical systems. The paint editor in Scratch is surprisingly robust. Today, we're going to focus on the tools in the toolbar. Are you ready? Let's open the Scratch paint editor and get to work. Let's delete the Scratch cat. We're going to paint a new sprite, and that opens our paint editor. Let's begin by using the ellipse tool, and I'm going to draw an ellipse. There's an egg-shaped ellipse. I can make it narrow as well, but I actually, click undo, want to paint just an outline. I'd like to make it in the color blue. And I'd like to make it circular, so I'm going to hold the shift key down while I use the drawing tool. And that draws it as close to a circle as it can get in the scratch editor. Now that I have my circle, we're making a face, I'd like to add some rectangular eyeballs. And so again, I'm going to click on the tool. I have a rectangle. I want the eyeballs to be a little bit smaller, the line, in size. So back on rectangle, and let me draw my rectangle here. There we go. And I can zoom in a little closer to take a look at what I'm working on. I'd like to draw a pupil in that, a solid color, make it a little bit darker blue. Let's put it in here. There's my pupil. And then I'd like to fill the eyeball with a gradient color. And so I can go from gradually from one color to another. And I'd like the dark blue. Actually, I'd like to put a lighter blue in there and a really light blue in there. All right. And let's try this is called a horizontal fill, this is a vertical fill, and this is a radial fill. Let's try the horizontal fill. Oh, I went with the solid. I'm going to click Control Z to undo that and try it again. There I have it with a horizontal gradient. Now I'd like to duplicate that eye, so I'm going to use the stamp tool. I'm going to circle the eye. And there I've got another one. I'm going to place it over here. It makes it look as though my face is looking off in one direction. Now I'm going to add with the paintbrush a smile. Let's make the paintbrush size a little uh, larger. I'm going to go with this color I've been using and we'll make a crooked grin. And let's say I wanted to fill that out, make a part of it a little straighter with a line, increase the brush size. And again, a hint, if I hold the shift key down while I draw the line, it draws it straight and solid. All right. Now there's a couple of tools up here that enable me to select the smile and I can make it grow. I can make it shrink. I can flip it upside down. And I can also rotate the eyes. And finally, let's fill the whole face. And we're going to go with a 
a lighter color there to a darker tur turquoise. And let's fill it with the vertical fill. Let's try a little lighter. There we go. And there's our face. Let's zoom out a little. You're going to see that at this setting that it's normally set at, it is two times the screen. And so it should be one fourth of the screen when I put it in. It is. There we go. And if we want to go back in to edit that sprite, we click on the sprite, we click on costumes, and we can edit. All right. I'm going to show you one other thing. Let's copy it. And we're going to edit costume two so that it's looking the other direction. Good. Let's make a copy of that. And let's edit this so that we have it frowning. We're going to move the mouth upside down. And now we can program that and have it switch costumes. We'll start with costume one. We'll wait a second. We'll go to costume two. We'll wait a second. And we'll go to costume three. We'll wait a second. And then we'll return to costume one. And let's take a look at what happens to our sprite. So again, you can use those types of techniques in your animation to draw some uh, facial features on your sprites. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial. I can't wait to see the creative work that you do. Experiment and play around and try to create something fantastic.